Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, Ryan Garcia and, and Oscar De La Hoya have received the contract for April 15th to fight Tank Davis. It's in their hand. They posted it on Instagram. Uh, we're going to get into all that before we do. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on all forms, social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick hits come down to every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All channels, uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, uh, my mind is fried. I'm tired. I'm going to get into this real quick for y'all. Uh, Ryan Garcia and Oscar De La Hoya have received the contract. Oscar De La Hoya said that he was going to give uh, uh, Tank uh, till April, uh, till Monday uh, to get the contract in. Um, it's it's Tuesday. He has it in hand. Um, they, they posed for a picture of it. It looks like the fight's going to happen. A couple stipulations is going to happen at 136. So, can I ask why we're doing this? Like, you know, the three biggest fights, as far as I'm concerned, that we found out we're going to get this year. Well, we may not get all three of them. Um, Figueroa and Fulton was not for a title. It's at 126, not 122. Fulton can't, uh, Figueroa can't make the weight anymore. Okay. Spence and um, Thurman at 154. Come on, guys. And now this at 136. First of all, 136 is the dumbest catch weight in the world. Because all non-title fights have a one-pound tolerance. So a 135-pound fight is a 136-pound fight, right, without a title on the line. So this is just a way of Tank not putting his secondary title on the line. Why, why do you have a 130? Just cut the extra pound. Like I don't understand why you're doing this. Or just make a non-title fight and you can come in with a one-pound tolerance. Like, I, I, this is the, it's the dumbest thing in the world. I, why are they doing like a 136 pound catch weight? Why? But yeah, I'm in for the fight. I'm I'm good for the fight. You know, Oscar De La Hoya tweeted out the devil's in the details, so it's not done yet. I think Ryan still needs to sign it. You know, I, I, that's the part that's not really being reported. I was like, yeah, Ryan's got the contract. Yeah, you know, how many times have you got a car lease or a car purchase and they take you into the manager's office, right? The sales manager. He's got the contract drawn up. Did you sign it? So, no. So, did you buy the car? No. All right. So, until that contract is signed, nothing has happened. Um, but this is good news because Ryan really, really, really wants to fight. Ryan really, 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 really wants to fight. And it looks like Ryan's going to get the fight. And it's good for boxing because it's a really, really, really good fight. I think Tank Davis wins. I, I, I think Ryan will do well. Um, I think Ryan will have moments. I don't think Ryan will get blown out, but he will eventually get knocked out, right? I think Ryan will do well in, in spots, and he'll have moments where he's beating Tank, right, and he's landing clean shots. But with Tank's power, explosiveness, and timing, it's just a matter of time. You know, I, I, I've been consistent. You know, Tank doesn't press, right? He doesn't panic. He stays calm, and he explodes. We've seen this in the Rolly Ramiro uh, – not in the Rolly Ramiro fight. We've seen this in the Leo Santa Cruz fight. We've seen this in the Mario Barrios fight. Like, we've seen this in the Gamboa. Like we've seen this over and over in the Santa Cruz fight. We've seen this over and over and over again with, with Tank. He doesn't He doesn't lose his cool. He stays calm. He stays calm. He stays in control. We saw it again in, 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 in the Hector Garcia fight. He doesn't lose his patience. He doesn't. You know, and he gets his knockout, he gets his man, he stays calm, he stays patient. Um, you know, he's a, he's a mini Mike Tyson with patience. Pa stay Tyson didn't stay patient, you know, but that explosiveness, that awesomeness, uh, Tank Davis has that in spades. Um, and he and he can pick his body, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't get over aggressive when he doesn't need to, you know. Um, he stays calm, he stays in control. And like I said, his timing is impeccable. Like, guys, um, you know, Tank Davis, you, you can say what you want, and look. Has Tank Davis fought nothing but killers? No. No. Um, but for a 28-year-old 
um, with 28 fights. He was 28-0. He's got 26 knockouts. He's fought good fighters. Hector Garcia, good fighter. Rolly Romero, good fighter. Isak Cruz, good fighter. Mario Barros, good fighter. Leo Santa Cruz, good fighter. Gambo, yeah. Nunez, yeah. Hugo Boss Ruiz, yeah. Salar, yeah. Francesca, yeah. Leo Wall, yeah. Pedraza, good fighter, right? So, yeah, for sure. There was a streak in there. 2017, 2018, 2019. Um, not super impressive. To, uh, I mean, that's one, two, three, four, five, six fights in a row. Uh, not, 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 not super impressive. You know, um, Liam Walsh, I can kind of give him a pass for. You know, Liam Walsh, um, was 21 0. He had just beat Clem off and Troy James. He was someone to keep an eye on. Uh, but then, like, like Liam Walsh fought. That was in 2017. He took two years off, fought twice more, and now it's taken over two years off. What's up with that guy? He beat Maxi Hughes. He can fight, right? What, what, whatever happened to Liam Walsh? Um, does anyone know? Uh, I'm asking a real question. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that. All right, not, not, not just get off topic, but these are the guys that take beat. You know, and, and recently I think his opposition has gotten much better. Um, I, I think, you know, the guys he's beaten as of late are, are far, far better. Um, uh, you know, I'm not the biggest um, – well, Ryan Garcia's resume is, is fine too. You know, Ryan's a lot younger. Um, but um, take his – my point was, Tank is beating good fighters, right? Tank, I'm sorry. Tank is beating good fighters, and he's knocked them out. It's not that easy. He's got a what, – what, what is that? 26 knockouts in 28 fights. What is that knockout ratio? Uh, 94%? Is that right? Uh, yeah, I think that's a 94% knockout ratio. Guys, that's really good. That's really, really good. Like, like I said, my point was he's not fighting all bumps. He's fighting good fights. He's got some questionable fights in there from 2017, 2019. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But it's not like he only fights tuna cans, right? Like, he's a good fighter, and he's fought in good fighters, and he's just not good fighters. It's not that easy. The power and the explosiveness is real at a world-class level. Um. So, I, get, I like Tank Davis in this fight. I love the fight. It's a great fight. I don't understand why it's at 136. That makes zero sense to me. It'll always make zero sense to me. It is the dumbest catchweight in the world. Um, but it, it's a really good fight. Um, I, it looks like we're going to get it. It looks like we're going to be April 15th. I'm, I'm still waiting on the details. I want to see who's in charge, the promoter, Blase Blase. Um, but this is a top-notch fight between two fighters in their prime, one guy in the midst of his prime in Tank Davis, one guy just entering his room. But this is exactly what boxing needs. But even in all of that, right, you got to get this stupid thing where it's at 136. No title on the line. Okay, fine. 136? Gaddy Ward wasn't for a title. Ali Frazier, too, wasn't for a title. Mayweather Mosley wasn't for a title. Okay? I'm all right with it not being for a title. But it could be for a title. Uh, you know, kind of. And why are we doing it at 136? This is the part I don't understand, but it looks like we're going to get it. So all's well. It ends well. April 15th, tax day. De La Hoya, uh, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, finally going to get the fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, we psyched for the fight. Who do you got? Leave your thoughts below. Please follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, please subscribe to our other channels as well. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, it is January 17th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.